Hi, this is Heather with Keep It Simple Social Media, and I'd like to thank Charles for the question, asking how can I drive traffic to my website, or in his case, his book, from my social media. And in particular, I'm going to show you today how to do it from Facebook. As I already did a video showing you that in a post without spending money on Instagram, you cannot have a clickable link. However, you can put a clickable link in an Instagram story as that is a new feature that Instagram has. Now we're gonna talk about Facebook. So let's just say this is your website, Charles. You're gonna to go to the page where you want to drive people to. So for example, here are five different articles. What I can do is I can click on the one article I want to market, and you'll notice that the URL relates to exactly what I'm referring to here on this page. All I have to do is copy that URL and then go to my Facebook business page. And as an example, I'll show you right here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I just created this and this came from a link on my website. And how I did it, there's two ways. And I know Charles, you said you don't want to use the Creator Studio. So I'm gonna show you the quickest way to do it. Right here where it says photo, video, that's not what you're gonna click. You're gonna click on create a post. Now from here, you are just going to paste that URL that you copied from your website right there. And then what I do is I usually put my cursor at the front of the URL and put it way down and then click up and then I go back to my website and I just copy all of the information that I wanna share about that article back here onto my Facebook business page. I then take it a step further and I always go to where the period is and hit enter. So it becomes easier for the consumer to read about this post, this article from their smartphone because it's a lot smaller, the print is smaller, and as we get older, it's harder to read. So I try to make it as easy for the consumer to read what I'm writing about as I can simply by doing this. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a call to action, which would be, you know, your website, um, it could be your email address, or it even could be as simple as what I just did here is I put a phone number and then I use my emojis in order to put a little phone. I'm on a Mac, a Mac is control, command, space, and that brings up your emojis. Okay, so there we go. We can see that the link from the website is right here. We have the call to action and our information. And then all we have to do is go ahead and click post. Now, sometimes before I do that, I'll take it one step further and I'll click these three little dots and I'll do a check-in and I'll add where I'm at. And in this case, let's just say Courtney. And then I would choose it and that gives uh, the page a location as well. So then you just click post, that's all you do. And once you click post, of course, you will end up with this post right here, very similar to this. So what did this do? This means when the consumer sees this post in their newsfeed and they click on it, it goes directly to the website to where your products and services are. Now there's one last way I wanna show you how to do this. So let's just copy that URL again. Let's go back to our Facebook business page, look to the left, go down to publishing tools. And within the publishing tools, we are going to click on the Creator Studio. A lot of people are using the Creator Studio, Charles, so I am going to show other people how to do it this way. So you can see I'm on Facebook. It's got the blue logo right there. I'm gonna click Create Post and then click again, Create Post. Now, once again, this is exactly the same thing. I'm going to drop that URL in here. You're going to see it load over here. It might take a few seconds. There you go. And then I'm gonna go back to my website. 
I'm going to copy all the information. I'm going to go back to the Creator Studio, put my cursor in front of the H, drop it down a lot, take it back up, and drop in the information. Then, just as I did before, I'm going to hit Enter, 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 and I'm going to make it easier when it's posted for the consumer to read all about this property in this case or whatever your products and services are. Make sure that you always have a call to action. I then scroll down and I click on location and I can add what the location is in here. Um, boop, right there, Courtney, British Columbia. And then I am finished. I can go over here and click publish or I can click the drop down arrow and I can schedule this post to go out in the future. So that is how Charles, I am teaching people today how they can drive traffic from Facebook directly to your products and services or in your case, particular areas in your book or podcasts um, as well. Now there is also an area today, Charles, where you can have your podcast set up on your Facebook business page, but that's in another video. I hope this helps everyone today. Remember, keep it simple.